I'm Roger with Synthesizers.com and here's an example of how to use the internal sample and hold feature of the Q169 Oscillator++ Plus Plus module. The Q169's internal sample and hold feature is activated with the SNH switch right here. And how the internal sample and hold works is it takes the output of oscillator number one and it controls the pitch of oscillator number two. And that's what this switch does. It connects the output of oscillator number one to number two. And the sample and hold is clocked by the internal LFO. Here's how a sample and hold circuit works. So we take a signal input, it can be anything, and we have a clock input. And then the output is the input signal that is sampled at each one of these clock pulses. So what happens is each time there's a clock pulse, the input is sampled and that's sent to the output. So you'll get samples all throughout that waveform and you'll end up with stair steps on the output. And in this case, we're going to use that as the pitch for oscillator number two. And this is oscillator number one. And this is our LFO. And right here is our sample and hold switch. Okay, so let's do a simple patch with the sample and hold. And we're gonna to listen to the output of oscillator number two. And this is gonna go into our sound system. We'll turn our amp down for now and get started. Let's see, let's listen to a triangle output from oscillator number two. And since we have no other pitch control input, we'll start out with the triangle wave. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the sample and hold, which connects the output of oscillator number one to the pitch of oscillator number two being triggered by the LFO. And the amount of signal that gets through is controlled by the amplitude on the first oscillator. Let's go to square wave for something a little more dramatic. So we can pick any of these waveforms as inputs. Let's go to random, and this will be completely random. And this is the amount. And this is our clock. Okay, now let's use the triangle input. Let's drive the speed of oscillator number one lower. Now there you can clearly hear the triangle input being sampled and controlling the pitch of oscillator number two. 